This article was published in January 1927 in the American Luther, Lutheran Survey. It is an awesome short article called The Many-Sided Christ. It was written by Pastor Melville E. Lederer. What uh, think you of Christ? Whom say you that he is? This Christ challenges the attention of the world by his many-sidedness. He meets the needs of all classes and conditions of men. As deep answers unto, unto deep, so does he respond to the movings of each soul of mankind. If we were to call the role of the world's workers uh, this morning and ask them, what think ye of Christ, their answers would be something like this. And they would be uh, amazed, and they would amaze us by their wonderful revelations of the many sides uh, to, to Jesus Christ. So some of these sides are as follows. To the artist, he is the one altogether lovely. To the architect, he is the chief cornerstone. To the astronomer, he is the son of righteousness. To the baker, he is the living bread. To the banker, he is the hidden treasure. And to the builder, he is the sure foundation. To the carpenter, Jesus is the door. To the doctor, Jesus is the great physician. To the educator, he is the great teacher. And to the engineer, he is the new and living way. To the farmer, he is the sower and the lord of the harvest. To the florist, <clears throat> he is the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. <clears throat> Continuing, to the geologist, he is the rock of ages. And it is more important to know the rock of ages than the age of rocks. <laughs> To the horticulturist, he is the true vine, and to the judge, he is the righteous judge, the judge of all men. To the juror, he is the faithful and true witness. To the jeweler, he is the pearl of great price. To the lawyer, he is the counselor, the lawgiver, the advocate. To the newspaper man, he is the tidings of great joy. To the oculist, he is the light of the eyes. And to the philanthropist, he is the unspeakable gift. To the philosopher, he is the very wisdom of God. To the preacher, he is the word of God. To the sculptor, he is the living stone. And to the servant, he is the good master. Then to the statesman, he is the desire of all nations. And to the student, he is the incarnate truth. And to the theologian, he is the author and finisher of our faith. And to the toiler, he is the giver of rest. To the sinner, he is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. And... To the Christian, he is the son of the living God, the Savior, the Redeemer, and Lord.